here. What's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Tick, aka Game Fanatic. And before, if I can join the game and all the good stuff, I was going to say something else before that. But before we get started, I want to say I am playing a game called Guns. Notice I put the Z, the Z sound at the end of it because it's spelled G U N Z. Guns, second duel, PC exclusive. I am playing Guns, second duel, a PC exclusive. I'll repeat it again. I am playing Guns, the second duel. I almost forgot what I was going to say. A PC exclusive. Okay, so. If you have any questions about what game I'm playing, it is Guns, Second Duel, a PC excuse. I almost forgot again. <laughs> I keep forgetting that last part. But anyway, I started playing this game yesterday. If you haven't seen the stream, uh, I'm still not good at it. As you can tell, I'm getting destroyed. I'm still trying to learn how to play it, but it's a very fun game. Uh, the only problem was, the only problem is with the game that I have is that it's peer to peer. It's not, you know, dedicated servers. So, like in this room I'm playing it now, I got destroyed because my connection was like a 120 to 110. Um, because whoever was hosting had a harbor host or they were like in the west coast or something something strange but I just had a very high connection if you're wondering what that connection is um, just to give you an idea if you were, if I were playing Call of Duty on the consoles I have a 3 to 2 bar it'll be switching back and forth between 2 and 3 bars that is the equivalent to what connection I have right now but I just gave that kid to do but anyway man I got something I want to talk about something that's been bothering me for a long time uh, the whole PC elitist excuse that I've been seeing and, and name calling that a lot of console gamers have been doing to a PC players and as you guys know I'm a PC player and it's been it's been it happened to me before so I can understand what's going on so look at this dude he gave me the dude I, he had the same idea as I had. <laughs> but anyway like I'm saying uh, this PC elitist term is going a little too crazy now why is it only that PC gamers call PC elitist is it because you know PC players tell you about you know their specs and how they run games that you guys are playing is it because you guys are upset because you can't get what the PC gamers have because you may not have the money is that the reason why you hate PC gamers so much I just want to know man and I think those are the reasons because First of all, like I said, I've been accused of being a PC elitist. There's times when I used to go into videos and I see someone playing uh, a game. And this was before the Xbox One and PS4 uh, came out. So this was around the 360 and PS3 uh, days. And I see a game that I have on the PC. And I'm like, yeah, uh, this game looks a lot better on the PC. And it runs at 60 frames per second. And people will jump on me about it. And I wasn't saying it just to boast about it. I wasn't trying to tease you for having a, a, a system that wasn't as strong as mine. I was just letting you know that there's better ways of gaming out there. Like there's, I was trying to expand their horizons. But they jumped down my throat like, oh my God, you PC elite. Somebody cares about your stupid keyboard and mouse and PC. I don't want to play all that crap. And they just attack you. But yet, now, you see these guys, you know, you got the Sony fans and you got the Xbox fans and you see them going at it with each other with these same numbers that we used to tell them about Now the only difference now between the systems is there's still better textures on the PC and you have True anti-aliasing which if you don't know what anti-aliasing is uh, It's the jagged lines and things on uh, and things at a distance Like if you look at a building from a distance on a video game if you see jagged lines or it starts to flicker weirdly around the edges of it That's because you don't you know, there's no anti-aliasing on a, a high setting so that's the only thing PC still have over the consoles, the higher textures, still have higher resolutions and uh you know and the anti-aliasing. But other than that, they're pretty much close neck and neck again until PC jumps ahead like they normally do. But we're not like I said, we're not saying this stuff to boast. We're just letting you know that there's better things out there. Like for example, it's like if let's say me and you both were talking about car insurance and your car got messed up. And you had like State Farm or something, and you were like, man, yo, State Farm cost a lot. And then like, they don't really fix my car up. Like after they got in the wreck, like they really didn't fix anything on it. Like they didn't give me enough money for it to get it really fixed. And I still had to pay a little bit out of pocket. And then I said, well, look, I, <laughs> I saved $200 <laughs> on my car insurance by switching to Geico. And then you got mad at me like, oh my God, you Geico elitist. <laughs> like, it's like that. You can say I'm reaching, but that's not reaching. That's a valid point. I didn't tell you that you know I saved two hundred you know two hundred dollars just to boast about it. I was letting you know that Geico is a cheaper route and a better route. Like they give you more money to work on your car if you get in an accident. 
they have cheaper prices for for policies they work better with you with policies stuff like that that's the only reason that i'm telling you i'm not telling you to boast about it and that's the problem like you'll see these pc guys and like for example on our podcast we'll mention something on the podcast about pc at least one time and the whole time we're talking about consoles but you'll get these comments and the comments are like oh my god these niggas stay on pc dick or or these dudes stay loving pc they always talk about pc they some pc it is but the whole podcast we're talking about console related stuff it was just one time you might have mentioned that pc had the better version or we will say oh yeah we're going to get it on the pc because we want so and so on it but you guys will get so mad and attack us because you're console elitist so that's why I made this this commentary because I don't believe there's such thing as a PC elitist. Yeah, you might get those PC guys that are every once in a while decide they want to boast on you guys, but just to give you guys an idea, those guys were the guys who were formerly console players, and I mean formerly by like two or three months ago they were probably console guys, or last year they were console players, and they just got into the PC world and they feel like they're better than you, so they decide to attack you because you haven't changed over yet. Most of us PC players, we want to build our community more. We want you to, you know, to see that there's a better way of gaming out there. We want, we want you to join it <laughs> because it's cheaper. It's cheaper. You get better graphics. And for all the guys who give the excuses like, "Oh, I don't want to sit right in front of a monitor to play my game. I like to sit on the couch and all that." Well, mind you, I use a wireless Xbox uh, controller, Xbox 360 controller to play Dead Space. I don't have to sit next to my computer to play. I use a wireless one. Also, people say they want to use their big screen TV. My brother uses his big screen TV to play his PC games because all graphics cards from two years ago have HDMI cable which all you have to do is plug that to your graphics card into a TV voila you're hooked up to your TV so those excuses don't fly anymore but anyway leave some feedback in the comment section about how you feel are you a console elitist and why do you hate PC so much and PC players so much but it's your boy Tick we got Duke Thorne and I'm gone peace out